Hey, welcome to Color Up. If you have watched me for any amount of time, then you probably know that my general theory on the game is whatever you invest on a shooter to recoup it as soon as possible, and then you could be aggressive and try to really color up. So today I'm gonna to show you how to double your money with just two hits, and that will work on any level. Let's say we go 22 inside on a $5 table, 44, 66, 88, 110, whatever it is, with just two hits, then we will recoup our money and then be playing risk-free, or if you pulled down your bets, you would have doubled your money. Today's video is part of my Dice Advice series, and this was sent to me by Sideshow Gamble, and he is a, another YouTuber who does craps videos. So you wanna check out his channel, but he likes to call this one the Hoppa. As the name suggests, this bet includes the hot bet. So let me go ahead and bring out my hot pad. Now we're gonna look at an inside bet. So let's say we're at a $10 table and we do 44 inside, right? Real typical bet. These all pay the same and they pay $14. So anything that hits, let's say the five hits, we're gonna get paid $14. That's our first hit. And with this $14, we're going to cover the easy inside number hop. So there's actually eight of them here and $14 doesn't quite cover it. So we're gonna to have to invest a little more, another $2. So now we have $16 to put $2 on each of the eight bets. So it'll look a little something like this. We cover all the inside numbers the easy way. So if we roll a hard way, or if we hold, roll a horn number, or obviously a seven, these are all gonna lose. So the trick to the hoppa is you gotta roll an inside number and it's gotta be an easy way. So what does that look like? Let's say we roll the six, two, eight on our second roll. Well, first off, our 12 is gonna get paid 14. We've got all of these are gonna lose except for one. Would I say the six, two? So we'll say these are gonna lose and then our six, two is a winner. Gonna pay 15 to one. So basically, let me grab a green here. We're going to get paid 30 and then if our bet comes down for 32 so what do we have we have 30 40 44 46 dollars we've got our two dollars back and our 44 pays for this 44 inside now we can kind of attack the casino however we want to do a press and pull or whatever you want to do but we're rolling risk-free here we've got our money back with just two hits well, what happens if you actually miss and you roll, let's say a horn number and all your hot bets come down? How many times do you wanna chase it? I don't know, that's kind of up to you. What he says is never pull from your rack to invest the $16 on the hop. So in that case, if you wanna attempt it again, you're gonna to have to look for another hit. So maybe the six hits and we get paid 14, we throw in the two. $16 to cover our hops and we try it again. So it's great if you can hit it in the two rolls if you're chasing, it gets a little more questionable whether it's worth it. For instance, let's say we instead, we hit three numbers. So the nine rolls, we get paid 14. And the six rolls, we get paid 14. And then the five rolls, let me grab some ones here. We get paid 14. There we go. If we just collect three hits, what do we have? We have uh, 38, 42. So if we just collect on three hits, we've basically got 42 of our $44 initial investment. And that's just by taking three hits. So, you know, three hits versus, you know, two hits this way. What's the better method? I don't know. I'd certainly like to take care of it in two hits. Let me show you how this scales up. Let's say we like to do bet a little bigger we go 110 inside. Any of these hit, our first hit, we're gonna get paid 35. We're gonna throw in a nickel, that's gonna be $40 to cover our eight numbers, that's $5 on each of the easy inside hot bets. So if we can roll a number, let's say it's the 5-4, well what happens here is we get paid 35 here, 35 of this would lose, but our $5, would I say we roll the 5-4, this hop is going to pay 75, and then we'll come down, so we have $115. We have our $5 back, 110 covers the inside bet. Our bets are paid for and we're rolling risk-free, or hey, if your goal is $100 for the day, you're done, you've doubled your money. So he doesn't necessarily call this a strategy, it's more of kind of a way to recoup your money because after you've recouped it, you kind of play however you want or whatever strategy you want. Now I checked out his channel and he's done a couple different things with it. He's actually 
uh, won it and then parlayed it. And he's also kind of figured out a way to incorporate the four and 10. So if you want to kind of see those variations, definitely check out his channel again, that's Sideshow Gamble. All right, my comfort level is a $10 table. So I'm gonna try this at the $44 level and see what happens. All right, $10 table, I'm gonna buy in for $500. That'll give me enough for 10 shooters if I'm going 44 inside. So let's come out with 500. Let me peel off 100 here and then go 100 in red for a total of 500. Now he just follows the puck, so I'm going to wait for a point to be established. Obviously, if you want to do this even quicker, then you could make your bets and have them working or on if you'd like. Again, I'm just going to follow the puck. All right, here we go. Coming out, looking for a point. Six, easy six. It's an inside easy number. It would be great for our hops. Right on the six, so let's go ahead and give the dealer $50. Dealer, give me 44 inside. We get six and change, 10, 20, 30, 40, 44. And here we go. This system requires you to hit an inside number. So we got to hit an inside number to even get started. Here we go. Eight, easy eight. There we go. So 12 is going to pay 14. Let's go like this. We'll go here and $16. Dealer, we want the easy inside number hops, or hop the easy inside numbers. So now we've invested a little more, we're up to $46 invested, but as long as we can roll an inside number the easy way, we're golden. Eight the hard way, eight the hard way, no good. So these are gonna come down and we're gonna lose that. We did roll the eight, so 12 is going to pay 14. And now if we go back up, it will be our fourth roll. So we've got 14, we'll throw in two more. We'll try this one more time. So $16, hop in the inside easy numbers. So here we go, we need an inside easy number. Six easy, six easy, there we go. That's the point hit, so 12. Again, we'll get paid 14. 14 of this is gonna be losing. And then $2 is going to win. We have a $2 bet on the 4-2, which is gonna pay 30. We're gonna bring that bet down. So basically now our bets are paid for, minus, well, we had to invest $4, right? So we only got $2 back. Uh, so we're down, we've got 32 or 44 inside. We've got $2 invested. I would say not too shabby. So we're in still pretty good position. All right, the puck's gonna go off. We've got 44 up here, paid for, and we'll just roll it out from here. So let's go ahead and get another point established. Five. Mark the five, and we'll see if we can get our, our first shooter. We had lost 44, so let's get some money back. We'll do kind of like a press and collect type thing. All right, 12. At this point, it's really up to you, whatever you want to do. Eight. Eight's going to pay 14. Let's go ahead and press the six and eight up a unit. Uh, we'll go to $18. We'll just collect two there. And here we go. Four, easy, we're not out on the four. Four, easy. All right, maybe we should be on the four. The dice guys are trying to tell us something. It's gonna be called a six. So 18 is going to pay 21. I think I'm gonna collect this time. Just get some of my lost money back. And here we go, let's see if we can keep this roll going a little bit. Eight easy, there we go. So 18 is going to, I'm out of red here. Let's bring in some more red. Let me grab some white while I'm at it. I think we're gonna be paying out here. So we'll go 21. We'll press the five and nine up and we'll collect 12. So we're real close to having all of our money collected and we've got some great bets up here. 66 inside, yo 11. That's gonna drop, they're gonna call this a five. My dice rolled when I hit it there. That's the point hit, so 15 again is gonna pay 21. Puck's gonna go off and we'll just collect this time. 
So we definitely got our money back. And we're in good shape. All right, let's get a new point established. 10, uh, 10 easy, points 10. So we'll mark that up. We got our bets working anytime, obviously. I'm a big fan of regressing down. And look at that, there's the seven, and that's why. You never know. But there it goes. There's the seven, puck goes off, but we're okay. We're in fine shape. And I don't think we won too much, but at least we haven't lost and we've kind of recouped from that very first shooter losing. All right, here we go. Let's give it another try with the hoppa. All right, let's get a point established. 10 in the heart, we're on that 10 again. So we'll throw in $50 dealer. We want 44 inside, six and change. 10, 20, 30, 40, four. All right, we've got to hit an inside number to get this strategy started. Looking for an inside number shooter, six easy. There we go. So 12 is going to pay 14. We're going to invest another $2. That'll be $16. That's enough for $2 on the easy inside numbers. All right, so we got to roll that easy inside. Here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. Just going to grab a new one here. Got too excited and threw it too hard. Five, four, one, five, that's easy because there is no hard wave on the five and nine. All right, so 12 is going to get paid 14. We're gonna lose 14 here, but $2 is going to pay 30, and we're gonna come down off that hop. If we pull down, we've just doubled our money that we've invested here. Otherwise, we just collect this, and now we're rolling risk-free after just two hits, so we're in good position. We don't want Big Red to show, but it ain't gonna hurt us. We're not too worried. We can be as aggressive as we wanna be, and that's in a great position. All right, there's the nine, so 14, or I'm sorry, 10. It's gonna pay 14. How do we wanna press and collect this? We'll go ahead and press the five and nine, and we'll collect some nickels there. So we got our five and nine to 15. Here we go. Press it however you want. Three, three craps. or collect, or pull down, or whatever you want. Four, easy. Start spreading out to the outside numbers. The key is you're risk-free, right? So gamble uh, as conservative or aggressive as you want. We've got a five, so 15 is going to pay 21. Let's pull the $6 off and we'll get the, the six and eight pressed up. So, and then we need $2, so let's go three and change. We'll pay for our caps here. So now we're at the $15 level on all these. Back up to 66 inside, risk-free, here we go. Eight, eight easy. 18 is gonna pay 21. Maybe this time we'll just collect to start making some profit. We'll kind of maybe alternate pressing and collecting here. Three, three craps. Four, easy four. Maybe I should have spread out to the numbers. Again, you just never know. Six, easy, there we go, we're happy with the six. So 18 is going to pay 21. And let's say we just do a full press on the six. So we get three and change and take this up to 36. So we can kind of change this out. $36 bet, that's a beauty. Now we'd love to hit that six again, here we go. 10 down there on the end with the point. Oh, that's the point hit. Have I hit the point earlier? I don't know. Well, I did this time. Puck goes off. Our bets are off. Six, easy six. As a place better, a lot of times I don't really care about the points. That's sometimes why I lose track of that. We're back out on that six, which it would have been nice if it paid. Here we go. Eight, the hard way, eight hard. We don't care about rolling hard ways now because we're not hopping them. So 18 is gonna pay 21. Hey, let's be super aggressive, right? We're risk-free, why not? So let's get the three and change, and we'll take this up to a $36 bet as well. We're only racking $3, but now we got some great bets out here. 
if they come in, if they roll, right? There's the five, 15, it's gonna pay 21. Let's get the four and 10 covered. We're only collecting one, but we're spreading out. That's the risk we're taking, right? And there's the seven, it didn't work out. All right, our bets are gonna come down, but we don't care, right? We got our money back, we got a little profit. We were going for that big win, rolling risk-free. All right, let's give this one more try. Gonna have a new shooter. Coming out, let's get a point established. 10 the hard way, 10 hard. Mark the 10 and we probably have the change here. Let's do 20, 40, 44, there we go. 44 dealer, all right, 10, 20, 30, 40, <clears throat> four. Set up, ready to go. We need an inside number though. Here we go. do si do <laughs> a quick seven. All right, we'll try this one more time, one more time. That one hurt us. Puck's gonna go off. Can't even get one roll. All right, so uh, let's get a point established first. Seven on the come out. All right, maybe we're getting those sevens out of the way. Doesn't hurt when it's on the come out roll. Eight, easy eight. So we'll mark up the eight. I'm just gonna throw in 50. Dealer, give me 44 inside. Let me give you six and change first. 10, 20, 30, 44. Ready to roll. Let's hit an inside number shooter. Eight, easy point hit. But first we're gonna get paid 14. Puck's gonna go off. And if we use our hops, we'd want these bets working. So should we work them? Or do we wait for a point to be established? Let's go ahead and work them. Hopefully don't bite it. So again, we gotta throw in two more dollars. So we need $16. So we've got $2 on each on all eight of the easy hops. It covers all the inside numbers the easy way. But we also need to win on these. So we're gonna have to ask the dealer to have our bets turned on for the come out roll. All right, shooter, we need an easy inside number. Yo, 11, no good. So that's no good. Our hops lose and we didn't hit a point so we don't have more money to pay for. So at this point we can go on or off. Let's go off, we'll follow the puck this time. Get a point established. Two aces. Nine, all right, we're out on the nine. So at this point we need to hit an inside number to get us started. Three, three craps. Nine point hit. So again, we're in the same situation. 12 is going to pay 14. Puck's gonna go off. Again, we're gonna invest two more dollars. So $16 hop him. If these hop are going, then we better get our inside numbers working. All right, shooter, here we go. We need an inside number to set our point. Four the hard way. Four hard is gonna be our point, which means, again, we missed. We invested now $4 from our rack and we're still haven't got our numbers up. So we don't need this marker. Again, we gotta hit an inside number out on the four. Six, easy six, there we go. 12 is gonna pay 14. We're gonna throw in two more dollars. And like I said initially, if we would have just collected three times off the three hits we've gotten, our bets would be essentially paid for. Now, even if we hit this, we're gonna be behind because we've pulled a few from Iraq, a few bucks. But let's see if we can make the HAPA strategy work. Here we go. Inside number six, easy, there we go. Beautiful, so six is going to pay, or 12 is gonna pay 14. 14 of this is gonna be a loser, but two is going to pay 30. Like I said, for the most part, we've covered it, except for a couple times we pulled a couple pennies from our rack. So that's kind of how the hopper works. We'll go ahead and roll this out. We'll be, again, now we're basically risk-free for this shooter, so we'll be kind of aggressive, see if we can win some money back. 12 craps, railroad tracks. All right, here we go. And no, that's gonna end it. There's the seven. 
So down comes our bet. So I don't think we won any money there, but we were we had a couple shots at having uh, some risk-free playing. So that's kind of the object. All right, let's count this up, see where we stand. What are we buying for 500? We've got one, two, three, 325, 350, 375, 400, 425, <clears throat> 450, 475, 500. And hey, look at that, we actually made a little profit. So 515, felt like too much. 520, 525, 530, there we go, 530, 535, 540, 541. So that's a purple chip, 500, 25, 30, 40, 541 is our color up. So we did color up a little bit. So let me know what you think of the Hoppa strategy. Pretty interesting, very unique, and definitely check out Sideshow Gamble's channel. So however you like to play, whether you're collecting, regressing, hopping, good luck on coloring up.